up this climb. I just can level off right up here. So um, it's been really windy back there. So I'm gonna speak. Hopefully you can hear me here. But uh, yeah, I've been kind of checking out different saddle tilts, uh, saddle angle. And uh, typically I ride saddle level. And level is a little hard to get perfect because you know, it depends on the shape of the saddle and how you measure it. But uh, generally I try to pick a point on the back and then the top of the front somewhere, adjust the saddle so it's level and then ride it there. And of course you have to have the bike on a level surface to do that. And you need a spirit level to check both the ground and the bicycle saddle. So anyway, uh, yesterday went on a big ride with Aaron not a big ride, it was a medium ride, it was 50 miles, flat, mostly flat. And uh, we started riding pretty hard on one of the flat sections. And uh, this is a new saddle here on this bike. And this is my, my new gravel bike. Uh, Custom Steel Fits Cycles. And I'm trying out this new saddle from Specialized, new to me anyway, it's a, a Phenom. I went with the wider version because generally I like a little bit wider saddle. This is a 155. And a few people commented on the video that I posted recently saying that my saddles are too, too nose up, too far tilted back. And that uh, bike fitters would recommend I tilt it nose down slightly. And you can get a little more performance out of the saddle and a little more comfort. So anyhow, uh, it got me thinking, why don't I just go out and try it again? It's been a while since I've adjusted my saddle beyond kind of level position. And uh, that's what I'm doing today. So I'm gonna share my results here in a minute. I need to get up here to the top of this climb. <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to be talking while climbing. So hang on one second, folks. So somebody in the comments, one of the comments on a previous video, somebody mentioned that uh, my saddles always look like they're a little too nose up, you know, tilted up. And they suggested that I should nose it down a little bit. And uh, so today what I'm doing is I'm out riding around and I'm getting this bike kind of dialed in. This is my new custom Fitz Cycles gravel bike. As many of you who've watched my channel know, I just had this bike built up. It's finished now. And I'm just trying to get it dialed in, get the fit right and where I like it and kind of get the shifting, get, get a bunch of things sorted out. And so this saddle here, this is a new to me saddle. It's a specialized Phenom. Uh, this is the first time I've used a Phenom saddle. So I'm just getting used to the shape of it and the width. This is a 155 uh, width. And this particular saddle I chose because it's as close to the toupee saddle that I was that I'm using currently on my other rando bike and so this one seemed to have a similar shape but uh, yesterday Aaron and I a friend of mine who you've seen on this channel also he and I went out for a ride we did a 50 mile flattish loop and I rode this bike and uh, we did a couple of harder kind of efforts on the flat roads and it gave me a chance to really feel the saddle and I focused on that part of the bike when we were doing that and I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to try uh, tilting the nose down a little bit today to see how it feels in comparison to that. And normally when I set it up, I, I go with a level position. So if you take a spirit level and you set it somewhere here on the back and somewhere here on the top of the nose, I go for a level position. And of course that depends on the ground 
you have to check the ground to make sure the ground is level also uh, so that you get an accurate uh, position there. Well, today what I did is I nosed it down a little bit and I went out on a ride and I'm out, now I'm on a gravel road, but I was on a paved road a minute ago and I did some in the drop, kind of get in the drops, get in a very arrow position and see how the saddle feels. And with it nosed down, you do get this, uh, get a little less pressure on, you get a little less saddle pressure and you're able to ride in the drops. The downside is, is that when you go to sit back up and kind of sit up on the level, on the top tube or the tops of the bars, you tend to feel like you're sliding forward. So what I, my conclusion is, is that there's a point, depending on the kind of riding you're doing and maybe the bike you're riding, the saddle tilt is going to depend on how you ride your bike. Do you ride a lot in the drops? Do you like to sit in a more aero position? Are you trying to maximize performance? Then I would say nosing it down a little bit is going to give you that. If you're more of an endurance rider, you're going for long distance comfort, you want a more kind of upright position, then you're going to generally stick to more of a level saddle. Um, I think for me right now, I'm going to try this. I went extremely down. I tried, you know, the nose down uh, a little more aggressively. So then I've backed it up. And so now I'm just a tiny bit nose down. So I'm going to finish this ride today with it like this. And I've got a couple more flat roads to ride on on the way back. And then I'm going to just give my final conclusion on what I think of saddle tilt and what, whether it's an important part of fit or not. Um, it, it, of course it is, but whether it's something that is universal across the board uh, or not. So we'll conclude this in a second. Let me go finish this ride. Okay, back now. And uh, let's just uh, do a quick summary here. Kind of what were my final thoughts on this saddle tilt exercise? So a couple things I noticed, as I said earlier, I think if uh, you tend to ride in a more aggressive position, you'll probably find a nose down a few degrees might be, might be more comfortable. Uh, if you do tend to sit up in that position or if the saddle is in the downward or nose down position when you go to sit up in a more upright position I think you'll tend to feel like you're sliding forward so there's a trade-off there and you'll have to decide for yourself whether that's good for you uh, saddle tilt will also depend on the saddle shape some saddles will naturally need to be nose down more than others and uh, when it comes to saddles like leather saddles I think that's one of the rare exceptions where you tend to find that they are somewhat more comfortable with the nose slightly up. At least that's been my experience using Brooks leather saddles and the Geo Bertude leather saddle is that those I feel they tend, they tend at least for me to feel more comfortable with a slight nose up a few degrees. Uh, so, so that's one thing. Uh, the other conclusion that I want to make on this for this is that uh, there is something to be said for the saddle tilt and saddle height and setback. One thing that became kind of obvious to me is that as I tilted the saddle nose down, I felt like it gave me this the perception anyway that the saddle height suddenly felt lower. I don't know if you've had that experience or not. But as you tilt the nose down, it gives you this feeling that the saddle height is actually lower than it is when the saddle is tilted up. And so that probably has something to do with your hip uh, rotation as you're sitting on the saddle. And so you'll have to adjust for that. It also feels like the saddle is more forward as you tilt it nose down. So uh, I'm not a bicycle fitter, but I've ridden bikes for a while and... I can say that uh, these, these variables all work together. So you'll have to consider saddle setback, saddle tilt, and saddle uh, height all together, of course, with your bicycle reach to get to a position that's comfortable for you. For me, I think I'm gonna stick with the way the saddle is now. I feel like for this particular bike, my riding style will be a little more aggressive than I am on my randoneering bike, which is a more long distance bike that I plan to ride in a more upright position for long distance riding. And this bike, I plan to do a little bit more 
I would say performance riding or, you know, faster riding than I would on a rando bike. This bike's a lot lighter. I built it for faster kind of training rides, faster group rides, faster grasshopper rides and things like that. So I think I'm going to keep it with a slight nose down. I think it's probably about one degree nose down and uh, it feels good. I'm able to get in the drops and not feel like I'm sliding forward too much when I'm sitting upright. So I feel like that's a, a sh I'm striking a really happy medium right there. So anyway, um, that's my conclusion on saddle tilt for now. And uh, let me know what you guys do on your saddles. Do you run them nose down? Do you run them level? Do you run them nose up? And what are your, what's your riding style? You know, do you do long distance riding or do you do more like performance riding? Do you do criteriums, time trials, that sort of thing? So kind of give us some context as to the type of riding you do and the way you set your saddle up to do that. All right, everyone. Uh, have a nice evening. Have a nice day wherever you are. And uh, we'll see you soon.